take a saliva sample with our ZRT saliva test kit. So what you're testing for when you take a saliva sample is going to be for your hormone levels when you use creams. Um, this is testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. The best way to see how the hormones are affecting you is to test using our saliva kit. Um, the best option for testing hormones is always through saliva when you apply them by creams, not through your blood. So inside your kit, you're going to have a requisition form, a bag that you're going to put the kit inside, your label, which will be dropped off at UPS, instructions, just in case you forget how to take the sample, and you're going to have a bag with a tube inside, which is where you will spit inside. Okay, so I'm going to start with just some quick information. When you are applying creams and you need to take a saliva sample, you, it must be done between 8 and 12 hours of last application. That means for estrogen or testosterone, if you apply it in the morning, then later on at night, you're going to take the sample 8 to 12 hours later. For progesterone, this means you will apply the cream at night, then the next morning, which is 8 to 12 hours, somewhere between there, you will do your spit sample. Um, we will go through the requisition form first. Okay. So we highlight the areas that need to be filled out on the requisition form. You can see up here on top is where you put your personal information, name, address, things like that. Don't worry about all the other sections that are not highlighted. Here on the back of the form, on top, we're going to put what hormone therapy you're doing. So if you are applying creams, you're going to put the cream, the dosage, the last time applied, the date, and how long you've been using it. This also applies for if you're doing pellets or taking anything by mouth. It will all be put here with dates and times. Then underneath in this section is when you take your sample of saliva. You're going to put the date and the time that you take that sample. In this category down here, we're going to be selecting what hormones we're testing through the saliva sample. So it could be all three, estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone, or we could select the individual um, samples as well. So now I will tell you how to take the sample. The first thing you're going to do is make sure your mouth is clean you can drink water you rinse your mouth with water but don't have any food or any type of beverage other than that before taking your sample so we're going to take the tube right outside of the bag you can see on the tube you're going to put your name right here you're also going to put the date and the time that you do your spit sample make sure the tube is labeled so for the actual saliva sample itself, we're gonna go all the way up to the mark that has the seven next to it. You're gonna take seven mLs. I know it's a lot, it takes a little bit of time, but we have to have enough to adequately test the hormone levels. So we're gonna go up to the seven. And it's very simple. Rinse your mouth with water, you just take the little cap off, and you just do the spit sample. Um, it can take a couple minutes it can take a lot longer than that depending on how easily you can produce saliva um, little tips if you're having trouble with saliva you can drink the water while you're doing the sample and you can also smell a lemon that helps produce more saliva to make it go quicker if you start to see bubbles form just gently put the tube down tap 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 and the bubbles will rise to the top and you can continue doing the saliva sample so after we do the sample, we're going to take it, close the tube, make sure it's labeled, and put it right into the specimen bag. And close that up. We're going to put it inside our box. We're also going to include our filled out requisition form. That means the front of the form. And on the back, we're going to have the hormones that we're taking, the time of our sample and what we are testing. If we 
hand the kit to you or mail the kit, we will be pre-selecting the hormones that are being tested and we'll also write what you are currently taking to make it easier for you. So we're gonna include the kit. You can put the information in there. Then we close our little kit up, grab our shipment bag, just put the whole kit inside the bag, close it up like this, and then right on the front we grab our shipping label and we can place it there on the front. Once we've done this, just go to your local UPS and drop it off. So that's how we test for saliva. Um, thank you and check out our other videos.